So as you guys may or may not know, I pretty much have a whole series going on on how to stream with different gaming consoles. I've taught you guys how to stream with the PS4, the PS5, the PC, and even how to do a dual PC streaming setup. And I've noticed that there's no thorough videos on one of our day one gaming console brands being the Nintendo. So today I'm going to teach you guys a super simple and easy method on how to stream with the Nintendo Switch. And the same concept can be applied to the past generation Nintendo. So make sure to stay tuned and do not miss anything. All right, so let's start off with a few things that you're gonna need. Number one, you're gonna need a capture card. In this video, I'm gonna be using an Elgato HD60S capture card. You can use any capture cards. It doesn't have to be the Elgato capture card. This is basically the device you're gonna need to pretty much capture your gameplay. The next thing you'll need is a computer. It can be either your laptop or your desktop. It doesn't have to be anything powerful. The third thing that you're gonna need is a Nintendo Switch dock. So I believe you don't need the stock dock, but you can use any compatible docks. I know Insignia also makes a dock for the Nintendo Switch, but this is basically for the ports that are on the back of the dock. And for some reason, the lightning USB-C cables to HDMI adapters do not work. So you will need a dock. So these are the only three things that you're gonna need to pretty much broadcast your gameplay on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, whichever platform of your choice. Now, as you guys may know, if you guys are streaming, you guys want to interact with the audience and with your chat and for things like that i'm going to go over the optional two other items that you guys may want to pick up just to be a little more interactive with your viewers so number one the first optional thing that you can pick up would be a mic it doesn't have to be any expensive mic it can be a 30 dollars mic it doesn't matter as long as your audience can hear you and it's pretty clear you should be good to go i picked up this exact mic that i have in this image over here it's by a company named boya and it costs about 30 to 50 dollars depending on the sales but it's a great Great mic and it does the job i also recently just picked up an elgato wavelength 3 mic and it's amazing so if you guys want to go kind of all out i know they have way more expensive mics and it costs about 130 to 160 dollars so depending on when you get it you guys may find a sale and the second optional thing that you guys may want is a gaming headset and this will allow you to pretty much have all the gaming audio coming into your headset and you can also communicate with your friends through discord or any third party apps so this over here is all you need to get the entire full streaming setup that you see all the pro streamers with now let's get to the setup so over here i'm going to lay out two different methods i prefer setup one because it's super clean and simple all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the usb c cable that came with the elgato hd60s and connect it via usb port to your streaming pc the next thing you're going to want to do is just take your hdmi cable go from the hdmi port of the nintendo switch dock and plug it into the hdmi in port of the elgato hd60s and that's pretty much it the hdmi out port can be left open and it's not needed so for this setup you're just going to need one hdmi cable and then optionally if you do have that mic and that gaming headset you're just going to want to connect it to the pc all right so once you have the setup done the next thing you're going to want to do is install the elgato game capture software and you can do this by just going to elgato's website and going to select your product select your capture card over here we're going to click on the hd60s and then click on your OS and then download your game capture software over here. So I already have this downloaded over here. So let's go ahead and open up the application. So basically this is setup one. I don't have any HDMI cord going out the Elgato. This is basically one HDMI cable and I'm picking it up on my game capture software. And the great thing about this is you can pretty much play your game right on this software. The next thing you'll want to do is go to the setting button right here and we're going to adjust the settings. So we'll click on Nintendo Switch and then the audio input is going to be HDMI audio game capture HD 60s and everything else is pretty much a default settings. We'll press OK. And as you can see on the side over here, we have a game audio tab. And if I take my Nintendo Switch controller and I move left and right, you'll see that we're picking up audio. And if you see the bar moving over here, that means you've successfully captured the game audio. Now, right below it, we have the live commentary section. And this is where you can pretty much select your mic and talk to your viewers. So over here, I have the microphone 3 Realtek audio. And as I'm speaking into the mic, you guys can hear me. And you can also mute your live commentary mic just by clicking this button over here. You click that in the bottom left and basically you'll see no more mic audio now if you go ahead and cover your mouse over the display and just leave it there it'll pretty much zoom in and this is basically happening live there will be no latency loss so this is pretty much instant preview this is exactly happening at real time so i'll move right right now you can hear my joystick in the mic 
no input lag. And this is pretty much a setup you're gonna wanna use if you have your streaming PC connected to a monitor, and this will allow you to pretty much play off of your monitor. Now, if you have a gaming headset, you can just pretty much connect your gaming headset onto the streaming PC, and you can hear all the gaming audio on your headset. And if you wanna go back and fix the settings, you can hover your mouse over to the right side, and it'll pretty much bring all the bars back. And the way you start streaming with the Elgato Game Capture software is pretty much this tab over here, the live streaming tab. You'll wanna click on this plus button over here, and add your account which will automatically link your streaming account and then once you do that this stream button down here will become live so you can click this button to start your stream and end your stream if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on the game capture software just leave a comment below and i'll see if we have enough interest to make another video so this is a full clean cut solution to start streaming and like i said if you have a gaming headset you can also open up a third party app like discord and you can hear your friends audio and your chat audio in your gaming headset and this will allow you to be a little more engaging with your viewers now if you want to use the obs or streamlab software using this setup with one hdmi cable all you'll have to do is open up OBS or Streamlabs. I'm going to show you the OBS method because it's going to be the exact same as Streamlabs. So I'll minimize this and we have OBS open right over here and it does pretty much the same exact thing. And the good thing about having the OBS going on in the background is it's a little more customization where you can have your webcam and a chat box over here to kind of engage with your viewers. So the first thing you'll want to do is hit the plus button over here and add a scene. I've already added a scene called screen capture so I'm not going to add it again. And for the sources you'll want to add three sources. The first source will be our audio info capture and I've already added that over here but I'll go over it again I'll hit the plus button over here and hit audio info capture and this is basically capturing your mic so if I double click it over here I have my mic selected over here I'll hit OK and you can see the mic moving as I'm speaking right now so that's basically how you're gonna engage with your viewers and then you'll want to have a display capture to capture the gameplay and that's done by just hitting the plus button over here hit display capture right over here and then all you're going to want to do is select the display you're playing your game on and then lastly you're going to want to click on audio output capture and this is basically how you're going to capture your gameplay audio so you'll want to click on ok and then you're going to want to click on your gaming headset i don't have my gaming headset connected to the pc at the moment so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to just click on my speakers since the gameplay audio is coming out of my speakers right there so right now, basically, if I move left and right with the Nintendo Switch controller, it's open in the background. You'll see this audio right here moving. So I'll go left, right. As you can see, we're capturing the audio. So that's it. That's basically the three sources that you'll need to start streaming on OBS. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to set up everything on OBS, leave a comment below. And, and if you also have enough interest on that, I'll make another video just on that. So to wrap everything up, all you're going to want to do is go to settings connect your stream account over here you're going to want to hit the start streaming button and it'll automatically start streaming on your streaming account so you'll just want to have this open in the background and then have game capture hd open and you don't have to start streaming over here because you're already streaming on obs and it's as simple as that and that wraps it up for setup one okay so for setup two is pretty identical to setup one except you're going to use an additional hdmi cable going from the hdmi out port of the elgato hd60s into the hdmi port of your your TV or your monitor. Now if you have setup 2 and, and you're using the TV, it's pretty much the exact same thing. All you're going to want to do is pretty much either use only game capture and start streaming with game capture or you don't even have to open up game capture. You can close game capture. All you're going to want to do is pretty much the same exact thing. You're going to want to open up OBS and then add a scene. I already have screen capture added. Don't worry about these two scenes over here for setup 2 act as if these aren't there i just have these over here just so you guys can see my screen and hear me you're going to want to add a source and the source you're going to want to add is a video capture device we're going to click on ok and you're going to want to select the elgato game capture hd and then we're going to click on configure video so as you can see before we click on configure video we already captured the nintendo switch game we're gonna to wanna to click on configure video now, and this is where you can set up all your settings. So over here we have our input device, click on Nintendo Switch. You wanna have with analog audio unchecked and have your input as HDMI over here, and everything else is pretty much the same. So we'll click on done, and we'll click on okay. And as you can see, we have our game over here displayed. And to stretch it out, you wanna hold shift, and then drag it out just like so so now if we're moving our game left and right 
we're capturing the audio right over here so that's it that's your full streaming setup and also similar to before if you want to capture any friends audio using the discord software you can pretty much add a audio output capture and pretty much select whichever device you're using to listen to your friends audio all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys found value in this video make sure to drop a like and leave a comment below if you guys have any questions i'll leave a link to all the items that i talk about in the description box below with that being said i'll see you on the next one